Hi everybody, welcome back to Rusty Gears, uh, Season 3, Episode 20 with me, Sid, on the old Rusty Gears server. Um, I, I've been playing around with a few things, uh, Per has been busy, she's, uh, she's started on the uh, chapel, so that's going up over there. I had to play around with this as a kind of road surface, and you know what, I don't like it. I need... Let me just engage fly mode because it's a lot easier. What I need to do is I need to come up with a way to make the roads kind of pop. And I'm I'm in multiple minds as to what the correct solution is. The the bees the bees are doing fine. Uh, we've now got four of these uh, ceramic ceramic hives going, so that's all good. Uh, I don't want them all to be ceramic hives. But ultimately, I want what happened to the scap up here. All right, like that. Is it? Oh, I've got a small ginger cat um, rubbing around my legs, probably in the vain hope. Of getting some dreamies because he's a little bit of a dreamy whore. This is our new, our new kitty, uh, who's uh, who is CJ because we have three cats. We have MJ, who is the one who had the uh, the accident, uh, the well, it's a very severe accident. We have TJ, who is uh, our small tabby. And we have got now CJ, who is uh, the new ginger. I don't know why. Where's he gone? He went under my feet and now he's vanished. Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, Mustachio John, Tabitha Jesse, and Cromwell James. Big house, why not? Anyway. What was I doing? I was going to continue making, uh, getting the honey out of these things, wasn't I? So what I would like to do is have these, maybe two or three more um, ceramic hives, but and then the rest will be there for um, populating skeps. And if we really get into trouble. There is actually a hive. We know whether there's a location of a hive that we can use. So, yeah, what else has been going on? Well, uh, let's just head over. So, I need to definitely need to do something there, but I don't know what. Now down here, whoop. Piggies are doing fine, and I actually went down to uh, Gran's main base area and. Uh, I delivered her a couple of pigs that treat, um, fully domesticated piggies. So uh, they went down and we are currently trying to get these up to the point where they'll breed again. Um, because I have over here, I've got three, three tier 10 lambs. Um, and over here we have the chooks who these are all tier nine and what i am waiting for that's got one day that needs a broody hand i'm sure it's got a broody hand two days yeah two days uh three days and two days so that and then the laying eggs all over the shop as well um, but what I did do, also do, I'm going to just fly because it's quicker to get there and otherwise I'm going to be having lots of cuts just to get and move around, is um, I, 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 I got rid of the old tier 5 and 6 chickens that we had now, other than the um, cockerel, the cockerel we, uh, or the rooster if you... If you prefer to call it a rooster, um, how many days has that got? 19, so I'm going to just grab myself a little bit of this for now. I did clear the pen and I transferred the first three tier 10 chucks in. There you are here, and look. 
completely oblivious. Now, this has got fertile egg in it. There's um, hopefully be three more. So I'm breeding the rooster over there, who is uh, generation five, with these chucks who are generation ten, and they are totally domesticated. So we don't, every time I walk up to that window, they don't suddenly panic and freak out and go and run away and stuff. So hopefully we should be able to get them all up to tier 10 in there quite easily. So what are my plans for today? Well, I was going to do some work on my build, um, but they still, now I've got, actually got three tier 10 sheep and I've got a tier 10 ram that's grown up as well. I actually realistically need to get to the point where I can actually start breeding and milking them. Um, and I don't want to do that in in here because there's not a huge amount of space up on, in this place and I don't want to take over it all. <laughs> Certainly also I don't want to build over the top of Shino's um, planned uh, engineer's workbench shop which I am going to be the number one customer of by the way because uh, I ain't got time I, I can't stand making this stuff all of those cogs and things now I'm going to buy them that's what I'm saving up for I'm uh, I think I've got about 500 gears so far now so yeah that's the plan now the plan is where to put it and the way I'm going to put it is outside the castle wall around about here so what time are we at nine o'clock let's just pop home have a quick snooze get the day reset and we're going to build a sheep barn the barn is going to be hopefully bear proof there shouldn't be any bears spawn in the area because we've got the night watchman but just in case one wanders in we'll uh, we'll ensure that that's not a problem that's the theory anyway so, it's, uh, it's building time. I also do need to harvest my honey as well at some point, but, you know, we'll get to that later. So I did collect a few bits and pieces, which is all in here. I am going to need, I've got a snub nose chisel, have I got, no, I haven't. Let me go and see if I've got one over here. I need the smoothing chisel. That is a brick chisel. Uh, no, I'm going to have to borrow the one from over there. It's all right, because we're going to start off with... Um, we are going to start off with stripped walnut. Uh, so we're going to have our walnut. We're going to have an axe. So we're going to have an axe hammer and we are going to stri quickly strip that back um, and that's going to go well let's see where do I want to start this let's come here and then we're going to go one two three four and one the bushes will have to move then we're going to have one two three and one then we're going to have one two three uh, one two three four and one so that's going to be the extents of the build. I'm going to strip all of this lot out and we'll, you know. I also do need, yeah, I do need to do something about that, but maybe uh, we'll see what we can sort out. Got a few, I did make a few granite bricks back at the, uh, the hoofer. But I might just do this and yeah, because I don't really need to worry. The The path is here. So we can, we can kind of strip that out. That's fine. This will. Hmm. maybe we'll do that for now until I know exactly what I'm doing there's a couple of options with these bricks one is to replace the dirt with bricks the other one is to re replace uh, 
that. So, you know, always options. As we run down the edge here and just correct those minor errors, um, which I don't know about you, but I find those are the errors that trigger me more than anything. It's you, you working away and there's just one little thing that really just grinds your gears. But um, this should be fine. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to go back. Well, let's have a look. We're going to do one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Far enough. One, two, three, one would be to there. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's more than big enough. Um, it gives us a little bit of wiggle room around here, so we can continue stripping down this, get everything out, and then we can work on the next bit of the build. So let's um, let me just do that quickly. And oh, hello. Uh, burp, burp, burp. that way there's no accidental falls and uh, yeah I'll be back in a second alright so I, I just changed my mind I have gone to the back these are going to be much higher but um, I need to work out exactly how much higher and to do that I am going to need some chert churty chert 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 and I am going to need it to be smooth chert let me start off with a stack of that and uh, we'll see how we go. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Let me just pop that away. Uh, grab you. Uh, because I think if I have a look at you, if I want to make slabbage, oh, okay, not that hammer, fine. Chisel, hammer, that, bang. That and that can go away. I'm going to make you like a so. I will need some of that, and essentially, we are going to be. This is going to be a lot easier with fly, so I am going to engage that, I think, just for. Hup. Just for this little bit, you know, the, the there is a purpose to us wanting the angel belt, and for the most part, is so we can actually build. My uh, my lovely meteoric steel shovel broke, but that's fine because uh, I always preferred bronze shovels anyway. So that's going to come across like a so. Do like this colour, it's got a lovely rust colour to it. Very uh I mean if a if a colour was rust coloured it I mean this is a rust co rustic colour. It is up against the city walls, um, which t defensively, if we were going with law, doesn't really stack up as making any sense whatsoever. But that's fine. I mean, it doesn't have to. It's also up against the city walls because I want the uh, lactating sheeps to be close, so we're not having to walk 10 miles every time we want to milk one. Um, which seems far more useful now what we do with all of the babies you have to do uh, well that's another question and 
the other thing is this this doubles up because the barn could not could be also for aurochs um because ultimately why milk sheep when you can milk cows although i need to domesticate the cows first uh, and they they seem a little bit bad tempered <laughs> in my experience so uh, every time i go near a bull it tends to give me a good butt just to remind me who's boss anyway we're going to take the uh the rest of that so that's going to be up to the there i need uh what do i need i need another stack of you with some more of that along with that bang all good so this will come across like so and go like this and then we're going to have one two three and four one one, two, three, and four, and across like so. So, yeah, probably, if, if anything, a slightly stereotyped barn design, but, you know, c'est la vie. Going to go through a fair bit of walnut. I'm probably going to need to go and get more walnut, to be honest. I don't think I've got enough. I may have, but we'll find out. Let me have a look. What have we got? Another. Why? How, how have I managed to get 52 walnuts? That Because they only stack to 30. Uh, oops, get them the right way around. Anyway, yeah, so we need to basically repeat this here bring this across there uh, and up here one two three and four boop 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 there'll be a roof on there as well um, and pretty much so on and so forth so i'm probably going to need to go walnut hunting though but i think that will look interesting uh right let me get the basics done i'll be back in a mo all right we are making progress um just been and grabbed some straw from the community center and that is what we currently have this this rather large thing we've got big gates on the front uh, i do want to break a few of these out because I have got some of this block as well just to break up the uh, the monotony of, of this this rather dry arid dirt and straw yep still more of that let's stick a little bit line down there so that gives us that and then we're gonna have i'm just gonna go solid dirt down here and then repeat on the other side and then there's going to be a fence that runs down this side fence that runs down that side and those are going to be our two animal pens um start off with sheeps in one side we do need some lighting as well probably need to do some uh, lanterns or something like that but uh, we'll throw a wee bit of this down and then finish off Yeah, might as well try and use it up. I've only got eight blocks left, so. Uh, there. Yeah. There. There. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Right, so take that lot. Do myself another stack of those. 
So then we need lighting animals. I found out what I've worked out what happened to my sheep that I was transporting. I was reading up on animal husbandry, animal breeding, all of the other bits and pieces on the uh, Vintage Story wiki. Uh, and uh, animals despawn in darkness. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. Did anybody else know that? I didn't. I didn't know it. Uh, one, two, three. I think that should be enough of those. Da, 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 da. Because then what I want is bonk, 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 bonk. That takes us up to the loft area, which we'll deal with. Them. There'll be a bit of detailing and decoration going on further, but um, the other thing we need, right, walnut or side bald cypress, walnut or bald cypress, that is the question. Uh, let's just get those back. Right, uh, bald cypress. And if I remember correctly, that is the recipe for those with one, two, three, four. I think that works. Keep the sticks. Whoop, hello. Right, so what we're going to have is one, two, three, four, six, six. That takes us to there. I mean, realistically, we only want, I think I've made one too many fence gates. because we only really need that. And then we just need some couple of troughs, which should be easy enough. Uh, we're going to need some light, but we'll drop that from the beams, I think. A little bit of decoration. Uh, maybe a little bit of this, for example. I mean, it doesn't really need to be any more than that. Well away from the fences, so nothing can use them as jumping off points. We will decorate the top as well, but... Uh, yeah, we'll work out what to do in there later. In the meantime, what do I need? I need lamps or lanterns or the equivalent of those and troughage. One, two, three, four of those. One back there. One back there. One there. One there. Lovely. So then, apart from lighting, a bit of path there, just to kind of bring us in. Right, let me throw that together. I'll be back in a sec. All right, um, there's still detailing to do. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to get done, and I'm not entirely sure how long I've been recording because I cocked one of recording, and there's a thing I still need to do that bit. But uh, let's get let's get uh, this fellow in, and these young. Female, female, male, 
In which case, there's not much point in putting him in. Because um, we've got a Generation 12 RAM, a Generation 12 and a Generation 11 U. So those are... Look at that skybox when somebody sleeps. Trippy. Um... Yeah, I do need to pick up. Oh, hello. I do need to pick up you for now. Just get you out of the way. So, the other thing we do want to do is, um, like the pigs, we want to keep a a master copy, if you like. Um, so we'll keep that ram. We've got the piggies in there. They're all safely stashed away. Um, we will keep some Generation 10 chucks and uh, I mean I suppose we shouldn't waste this lot. So these are all Generation 10. As you can tell the That's got one hour, so we'll have. That's got two days. That's got none remaining. So we'll probably let these run if we can. That's only got a bit, a bit to go. And uh, but the bulk of the breeding stock will now be done over in the uh, the community centre. And we'll keep breeding the sheep. The only thing left really that I want to do is the aurochs, which, um, yeah, you know, that's, uh, sorry. let's just run over and have a look at how they're doing, because I think I need to probably give them some uh, grain to get those ones breeding. Otherwise, Kant is going to log on and go, what's happened to all the chickens? And it's like, I ate them uh, just a little bit, just a smidge. But I did replace them with top quality high generation chickens which are no longer scared of you which is I think you know makes it worthwhile just take 16 so yeah we got the um, that going the idea really is to have maybe four to eight ewes in there one, and plus one ram breed them Portions eaten one. Portions eaten one. Well, that's not much good, is it? I mean, I can see there's a fertile egg. But you see, this thing's only generation five, so we do need these to get up and do their thing and breed. I would like to actually work on a proper chicken coop because I don't this 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 was fine but I'm sure I th we can do better <laughs> so uh, so that's the thing also let me just do a little bit of uh, decorating around the place and I'll be back in a second okay it's the next day um, literally the next day is, is recording um, and I am on. Uh, my sound is glitching a wee bit. It plays some of the sounds, but not others. So, yeah, just um, be aware of that. But I'm on online. Uh, Candy asked for some help, and uh, she wanted to automate the mixing bowl. Now, I had a bit of a dig around, and you have to make this thing, which is a powered mixing bowl. And then we've just, for the time being, and I, I, I want to, I've already said, told Candy, I'm going to, I'm basically going to try and hide the um, power dr the drive shaft in, I don't know, there perhaps, or, you know, I don't know exactly where yet, but we'll we'll bring it down from in a hidden thing so it comes in underneath, so I've not got a drive shaft sticking straight into the top of the bowl. Um, but at the moment, this is just a quick... Blah, 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 in and down and uh, this is where we tried before so nothing fancy 
but it does mean that that mixing takes place auto automatically and uh, yeah it's uh, one less job for the culinary wizard that is Candy who's running around down there presumably getting ready for whatever the next amazing dish is uh, she just made peanut candy got 175 days fresh on that uh, so that's the thing uh, we're about ready to wrap up um, for this episode but we're just going to head over to um, the barn and I'm going to continue between episodes getting those sheep and getting uh, basically I want about eight lactating ewes at a time um, four to eight I think a four four will give me enough for one cheese per milking and but at the moment we have this one which is pregnant this one which is almost pregnant so if i can get this one to eat one more portion of food come on wakey wake up sheep wake up wake wake the problem is these are too tame now they just ignore you they do look cute so uh yeah i mean this is starting to look, for me, uh, I'll stick a whole load inside it. I only brought 16 anyway. That will guarantee pregnancy in these. The other two are um, in the system are pregnant. The other thing I'm going to do over here is I am going to continue the ladder down. We're going to basically come down and into a cellar area underneath here just to keep things like wheat uh sorry grains for feed and um milk fresh and maybe even to process up some cheese who knows but um yeah so we have now definitely got our tier 10 chickens we've got our tier 10 pigus we've got tier well actually generation 12 and 11 sheeps the the last thing I want to try breeding is um is aurochs. Um which you are really having some problems. There is never a shortage of um but of course the their cattle and as cattle they are um milkable. Uh, so I definitely want to go and get some of those and get them breeding. Now I am going to guess that a Auroch calf is collectible in a small crate. So what I probably need to do is try and trap, find a, a group of Aurochs where there's a bull and uh, one or two cows and... Uh, try and trap them in loosely get the first generation bred get a bull and a and a cow off of that uh, whoa hello someone's got something planned using the light mud brick and bales okay well hopefully that's not a spoiler Whoever it is has uh, also covered over this. Maybe we should just sort this one out, shouldn't we? I keep looking at it. I've been looking at it for days. Oh, that's going to be a... Oh, hello. Oh, I've got angry animals everywhere. Angry, angry raccoons now.
No raccoons were hurt in the film. By the way, there's a bear underneath here as well. I don't need any of this meat. It's just that they've been there for so long, they needed, it needed to be done. And it didn't say take your armour off, did it? He just said things. Now the bear, the bear is going to... Damn you. Oh, hello. I'm not very good at melee. Melee is not my, my bag. Um, but when you've got all your spears, it rapidly becomes your bag. Oh, I'm not going to. I was tempted, but I'm not going to. Anyway, um, that is enough for this episode. We have got an Auroch cow but not a bull and this area was absolutely teeming with life and obviously whoever's been building over here has started cleaning up um oh and joining on as well yeah, okay uh yeah so on that note thank you very much for watching guys i will see you next time till then bye for now